So you've heard about the poor drivers here in Columbus, but what about the traffic? Hey, what's up guys? Andy Howe here, local real estate agent right here in Columbus, Ohio. In today's video, you've heard me poo-poo the drivers here in Columbus, but I wanted to talk about traffic specifically. But before we dive right into it, if you would, please reach down, hit that subscribe button. We've been making videos all about Columbus, what it's like to live here, what it's like to drive here even. Um, hitting that subscribe button lets us know we're on the right track and to keep making these videos. So what's up with traffic here? For those of you that have either lived in Columbus a really long time, um, lived just maybe in the country, you probably think that Columbus traffic is getting worse and I would probably agree it is getting worse, but relatively speaking, it is still really good. Uh, I was just with a client of mine in town from LA this past weekend and he was just completely amazed about the lack of traffic. I mean, there was traffic out there, but nothing like they're used to. So relatively speaking, we do have it really good. We've got, um, even when there is a lot of traffic, it's not for that long. Outside of a few times, right? Rush hour, like any other city of size, is just gonna be, be a reality. Here in Columbus, it can be as early really as 3.30, but typically about 4.30 to 6.30 is when you're gonna hit that peak rush hour time. So along with the busy rush hour times like any city, we have a ton of road construction here. That does tend to lead to longer wait times, but hopefully when those projects are all done, it'll lead to better traffic, better flow of traffic anyway. So as a real estate agent here in Columbus, I know anywhere I need to drive around town, I can schedule an appointment on the southeast corner to the northwest corner. It's gonna take me about a half an hour to get anywhere outside of those few times. So um, I just wanted to talk about a few pinch points in traffic. Um, and if you can, maybe avoid these areas where the traffic is super heavy, or at least at the times where they're super heavy. You can plan around it. We have a great highway system here in Columbus. We've got 315 and 71 running north and south. Um, so you can probably 315 is gonna most likely be a better option. Uh, we also have I-70, we've got 670, we've got 270, and then all the other smaller roads. So you can most likely either plan around the heavy traffic times uh, by traveling at a different time of the day or choose an alternate route. So with all that in mind, I wanted to give you a couple pinch points where I see traffic, where I tend to get hung up, you might wanna avoid. And the first one is just the mess in downtown at the I-70 and 71 kind of intersection. This is a terrible mess right now, and it's been that way for, for a really long time. There's a major, major construction project going on right now. So think mass confusion, think people scared and they, and they just don't know what to do, so they're driving super slow. There's tons of semis just choking up the traffic. I mean, this is a major logistical hub for Ohio and Colum not just Columbus, but also Ohio at large. So if you can avoid that 70, 71 downtown area during rush hour, again, 4.30 to 6.30, do that. The second one I'm gonna talk about is 33 southbound and, and really northbound in the morning, but southbound, especially in the afternoon, you're, you're going I-70 east, and then you're hitting 33 South. It is, it's terrible there. I mean, there's just bumper to bumper traffic. Everybody that's commuting into Columbus from either uh, Canal Winchester, some parts of Pickerington, just that whole South side, Lancaster, are using 33. So in the morning, it's backed up. And then also in the evening, it is, it is just terrible. Nothing will suck your soul like sitting on I-33 during rush hour. The next one is gonna be 670. Now, I generally don't have a whole lot of trouble with 670, but when I do, it always seems to be getting from I-71 and heading east on 670 out towards Gahanna, Reynoldsburg, Blacklick, all that. It tends to get a little slow in that, that afternoon rush hour, at least for that's my experience. Now, the next one is gonna be the uh, 23 and 270 intersection. Now, this has gotten better 
there was road construction up here for what seemed like about 10 years. Finally, they're done with that. There's express lanes, but the fact of the matter is, it's just a busy area. A lot of people live up in Polaris. A lot of people live just up that way, Delaware, and that's a major thoroughfare. It is better, but it can still get slow. And then the last one I'm going to mention is the Broad Street and 270 interchange. Now, Broad Street is a major thoroughfare all throughout Columbus, but especially uh, going out to Blacklick, going to Reynoldsburg, Patasco, everything out that direction. In the afternoon, it's just, it's a, it's a small road. It's like three lanes across and it's just choked completely with traffic. And the same thing could be said in the morning. Uh, in the morning commute coming coming west on Broad Street it's terrible so avoid that if you can long and short of it though going point A to point B here in Columbus it's generally not too bad and if it is bad um, you know at least we have this wide open space that drivers can spread out a little bit you can avoid some of those poor drivers um, just be sure to avoid those pinch points during those rush hour times thanks for watching guys if you have any questions about Columbus uh, the traffic patterns, the real estate here, the weather here, uh, whatever it may be, hit me up. Love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for watching.